I will be doing a tank review for the Chuck Tier 3 light tank, the LTVZ38. This vehicle have a lot of the same traits as the previous tank, so this vehicle it is just slightly better when it comes to the uh, the uh, stats. It had the same player uh, style as well. This vehicle it is quite good for its tier. It is relatively quite mobile, have a good gun while being a good passive scout as well if you have the equipment on vehicle to do so this vehicle just like the LTV the 35 if you know what you're doing in it you can do quite well in it let's get to the vehicle stats now the uh, vehicle stats when the machine it is fully upgraded it is quite good except when it comes to the firepower the survival ability besides that the rest of the vehicle stat is good when it's uh, fully upgraded especially when you have a good crew in the vehicle let's begin off with the firepower the top gun on the vehicle here it is quite good it is a 37 millimeter gun with the 37 millimeter gun you have all of the same benefits and drawback using this gun a high rate of fire, pen being good at, good as well with the aim time. Unfortunately, the drawback to the gun is the low damage output and the accuracy of it. The good thing that I like about this 37mm gun is it is a magazine fed gun, so you can fire a lot of rounds within a minute if you have to. Each uh, clip holds three rounds, so you can fire them off quickly with the time time delay of one uh, one second. While the loading time is pretty good, five uh, seconds. So you can fire and destroy a vehicle in a hurry if you have to, especially when you are top tier or finishing a vehicle off. With the aiming time and the loading time, you can easily for the aiming onto a target, shoot at the vehicle and kill it quickly enough if you have to. The rate of fire, fire per minute, it is about 27 rounds per minute. That is pretty good. Same thing with the turret traverse and gun depression, 32, so the, so the turret can turn around quickly enough if it, if it have to, while the gun depression it is okay five degrees downward so you will have a problem hill fighting with this tank at time so to make use of the good aiming time it's best to shoot at uh, medium to short distances on flat terrain if you can when you're using this uh, tank due to the gun uh, depression of being five degrees downward gun elevation upward is good the damage per minute it is the same as the previous 37 millimeter gun about 1000 damage which is good survivability just like the previous vehicle it is not that great it have more hit points and slightly better armor hit points 220 so you can take a decent amount of hits before you are killed or potentially be one-shotted by a howitzer when you are in a tier 4 or 5 match. The armor being improved, if you angle it well enough to the left or to the right, you can rec ricochet low pinning round easily enough. Armor in the front for the hole it is 25, turret 50, side for the hole is 15, same with the wheel. Turret side it is 30, wheel 25. Most of the guns you are going to be going up against can penetrate your armor easily enough, so expect everything to penetrate you. The crew members and the modules can be damaged easily enough, especially from the side. Now, this is where the mobility of the vehicle get to be good. For the vehicle weighing about 10.6 tons, the vehicle it is quite mobile still for being a light tank with the 140 horsepower engine. You have about 13 horsepower to 1 ton. That means when you are on flat terrain going in a straight line or going downhill, you can easily reach the 32 kilometer mark top uh, top top speed. Reverse speed is good at 18. The hull traverse is good at 40. So the hull and the turret can turn around quickly enough if it have to. 
Now, the concealment. It is good for a light tank still. When you are staying still, it is a it is 18. When you are not moving, it is 14. You can improve this even more. When you have camouflage net, camouflage park, and camouflage paint. This vehicle, as long as you have a proper setup for it being a uh, a passive or at the active scout, it can be pretty good at this role if you know what you are doing. The uh, vehicle spotting, it is good. View range, 330. With code optics, it go up to 360 meters. Or 440 with the binocular teles telescope on when it is being used. Radio range, it is okay for its TL. 360 meters. If you are on a big map, with the radio that you have, you may lose radio contact with uh, with your teammate at time. Besides that, the vehicle stats is average to good for this vehicle. Let's cover the research part of the tank now. The uh, research for the tank is an easy tank to go through. The only piece of equipment that is transferable to the tier 4 vehicle is the radio. Besides that, everything else it is not trans transferable at all. To get to the tier 4 tank, you just have to unlock the A7 37mm gun to move on to the, onto that uh, vehicle. So you can just go through this vehicle quickly if you have to. Let's begin off with the tracks. To mount all of the equipment onto the tank here without going over the vehicle weight limit, you will have to get the top pair of tracks. The hull tra traverse increases from 34 to 38, so that is nice to have a hull traverse increase there. Engines, you have three to use. The first one is 120. You will be mobile enough with that engine, but if you want to have a better horsepower to ton ratio, use the last last engine here. The last engine here, the 140 horsepower engine, will give you the best horsepower to ton ratio while using this uh, tank. The second engine here, it is not worth using as you get five more horsepower. It is up to you if you want to research the engines as they are they are usable on this tank only. Radio, you have two to use. The first one you would have unlocked already. And the second one here, I would recommend that you research it as it is usable on the tier 4, 5, and 6 tank. And it is the best radio to use on this tank. Turrets, you have have two to use. You can use the first turret throughout the entire grind if you want to to get to the tier 4 ASAP. But if you want to have a slightly better turret traverse, more hit points, better gun handling stats, and better view range, get the top turret here from the first turret to the second turret. Everything in Everything increases for the most part, especially the armor in the front of the turret here. From 25 to 50, with that 50 millimeters of armor, you can ricochet rounds easily enough if you know how to angle your turret armor well enough. Also, you will have to unlock the top turret anyways to use the top gun, which is usable on the LTVZ38 only. Let's cover the guns quickly. All of the guns here you have are 37mm guns. They get gradually better from the first gun to the last one. The guns that you are going to be using at the uh, start, it is transferable throughout the grind up to this tier from the previous vehicle. The first gun, it is pretty bad. So you will be using the second gun as it would have been the top gun on that vehicle. The A8 here, use that until you get the A7, which is uh, better in 
in most areas when it comes to pen and and the aiming time. Use the A7 gun throughout the entire grind until you get to the tier 4 vehicle or use it until you get the experience to unlock the top turret and top gun. The top gun here it is a magazine fed gun which is quite good. I covered this in the beginning of the uh, video. This is a magazine fed gun which have a good aiming time, loading time and way to fire so you can do a lot of damage with the magazine fed gun if you know how to use it properly. It has the same damage output as the rest of the gun, gun still. Now let cover the consumables, the ammunition layout, the equipment and how are you going to be using this tank. Let's uh, begin off with the consumables. Consumables, you may or may not want to use them. It is up to you. Consumables, I would go with a repair kit, first aid kit, and then just for the permanent effect alone, as long as you are not using it, uh, go with either of the large re repair kit or the first aid kit to get their permanent effect. This vehicle carries a lot of ammo, 90 rounds, so you will never win out of ammo in a match in most of the matches that you will be using this vehicle for. The majority of the ammo you will be using it is AP and APCR. HE is a useful ammo type to use still, agents in the armored targets especially when you are top tier at times. AP can penetrate most tanks easily enough if you know where to shoot at it with, but the APCR round it is a it is especially useful when you are going up against heavily armored targets, when you are at the bottom of the tier list in a match. A PCR can penetrate most tanks easily enough when you are going up against tier 4 or 5 heavily armored targets. To use a clip of a premium ammunition, here it will cost you 9 gold or 3.5. 6,000 uh, credits, so it is not that uh, expensive per clip if you have the credits laying around for it. Now, let's cover the equipment. Based upon how you are going to be using this vehicle, the equipment that you are going with can actually specialize the role that you are going to be using the tank for, so it can be better at that role than the others. I would go with the enhanced gun lane drive to get a better aiming time. To increase the view range, it is up to you. Go with coded optics or binocular tele telescope. Camouflage net, it is a useful piece of equipment to use if you are going to be a passive uh, scout or even being a medium to a short distance sniper. Vents, just to improve the tank performance and the crew performance by a bit. Besides that, everything else, it is not that useful at all. Now, how are you going to be using this tank? This tank, you will be getting tier 3 up to tier 5 uh, matchmaking maximum. When you are top tier and know what you are doing in it, you can do quite well. Especially when you are playing toward the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses. When you are not top tier, in a tier 4 or 5 match, you can do quite well in it still if you know what you are doing. Especially when you are being a passive scout or at a medium to a short distance sniper at times. Now, what are the rules for the LTVZ38 that it is good at? You can play it at a front line by tank quite aggressively if you know what you are doing. As a uh, support tank, as a flanking vehicle, as a medium to short distance sniper, as a passive or as a active uh, active scout. Being a jack of all trades type of light tank here, you can switch in between all of these walls in a hurry if you have to, if you know how to. Now with the in garage review done with. I have a replay to show you how well you can do in the tank here. Let's go to that replay now. 
This uh, replay, I will show you how well you can do in the OTVZ38 when you are playing towards vehicle strengths and weak weaknesses. What you see in the uh, replay here can be applied to the matches that you get yourself into tier 4 to tier 5 area. When you are playing toward the vehicle strength and weak weaknesses, I know what you are doing. I am uh, looking at the map right now to see where I should go, looking at where my uh, teammates are going. Seeing the majority of the people are going to the city, I choose to go right. Seeing there are not a lot of people going to that area of the map. This replay, later on, watch how me and a few of my teammates manage to turn this, uh, this match around and help carry the team. When we could have had lost uh, very easily. I am in the back here to support my team and to get any shots off as the vehicles poke over the ridge line. The BT there, I got a shot on the vehicle, the M3 as well. The good thing about the magazine fed gun on the vehicle when you're using it it have a quick loading time, so you can fire the three rounds off quickly while moving, load the gun, and then repeat the process again. The AT, I fire blindly to see if I could kill the tank, but I only got one round off. If the D2 didn't finish off the AT1, I would have had gotten that kill. The BT there, I got a shot on the vehicle when it was moving. While moving up for cover, I we 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 load the magazine. By right now, the match is tied 5 5. Seeing the match is tied, I am playing very cautiously. As we are on the losing side now. I got the M3, M3 Stuart on low health there. Seeing the PZ2 coming up here, I fire one round into the vehicle. It is 7 9 right now, checking if anything else is coming on my left side. Seeing that is a no, I move up to see what the M3 is uh, is doing. Seeing nothing is going on to my left side, I turn around quickly to finish the M3 off. Uh, now it is turn 12. The majority of the vehicles for the enemy force uh, forces is in the city area. Now I have to be very careful if I want to secure the win with the, with the assistance of my team. Firing the magazine until the M2 there, I got it down to a one shot now. The M2 there ricocheted from off of my armor and I was angling at a correct angle. Once I am done loading, I poke out to finish off the M2 light. Before moving up again, I use the amazing load time to have the clip ready as I will be firing once this a T2 medium come into my uh, view range. I did get one shot out of three from the magazine shot into the vehicle. Z medium 2 died quickly enough. Uh, VT-127, I fired the clip into the vehicle there. I, uh, I almost finished the vehicle off getting the top gun in the uh, process. Z cruiser finished the vehicle off. Uh, this replay I did 
quite well in, getting myself five kills, almost getting a top gun in the process as well. Between us three at the end, we carried the uh, match and uh, secured a win for us. I did about uh, 800 damage, which is pretty nice uh, for being a top tier tank. So I did about effectively about uh, three and a half times of my uh, my hit points uh, to the uh, enemy team while nearly almost uh, avoiding being killed uh, with two hit points left. This vehicle, if you know what you are doing, no matter what the matchmaking is, you can do quite well. Let go to the garage now to do a brief recap on the vehicle itself. Let's uh, do a brief recap on the tank. The vehicle itself, it is above average, so it is quite good to use once you have the vehicle fully upgraded. The vehicle itself, it can fill many roles in a match if it have to in a hurry if you know what you are doing. This vehicle, when you are playing toward the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do quite well, especially if you know how to use the vehicle top gun. As using the top gun, you can easily wreck the enemy team to pieces if you have the situation and the circumstances on your side to do so. As long as you are playing toward the vehicle's strengths and weaknesses, you can do quite well in this vehicle. I hope that you learn a thing or two about the tank and how to use it, pro use it properly. If you like this video, leave a like, a comment, and even follow my channel as well. Good luck on the battlefield, everyone.